Welcome to my third class of pair of linear equations in two variable chapter 3. Today I am going to discuss consistent, inconsistent and dependent pair of linear equations in two variables. And exercise question 3 and 4 of 3.3. In the last class we discussed three pair of linear equations in two variable and its graph. The first pair was 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 and 3x minus y is equal to 1. And for this pair, you have got an intercept in line and you can say it has unique solution. And the second pair is x minus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x minus 4y is equal to 8. You got a coincident line and you can say it has infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. And the third one for us plus y is equal to 5. It is plus 2y is equal to 1. For this you got a parallel and you can say that pair of equations are no solutions. This was the condition we discussed in the last class. Here, A1 by A2, which is equal to 2 by 3, and B1 by B2 is equal to 3 by negative 1, which is negative 3. Here, A1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2. That means for an intercept in lines, the equations will have unique solution and a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. If a pair of linear equations have unique solution, we can call those pair of lines as consistent pair of linear equations. And in the second case, infinitely many solutions, the lines are coincident and what about a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 in this case, here you can say a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2, b1 by b2, again negative 2 by negative 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 and c1 by c2, that is equal to negative 4 by negative 8. Why you put negative 4? If you write x minus 2y is equal to 4 in standard form, you can write this x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. So here c1 is equal to negative 4. Similarly, in the other case c1 is equal to negative 8. And negative 4 by negative 8 you get this 1 by 2. That means a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. This case, the pair of linear equation we can call it as dependent, dependent pair of linear equations. Here, dependent pair of linear equations is always consistent. Here we can say a pair of Linear equations in two variables will be consistent if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 or a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. In both cases, we can say the equations are consistent. Now, the third case is parallel lines. For a pair of linear equations, its graph is parallel lines means it has no solution. What about a1 by a, a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 here? Here, a1 by a2, you get it as 4 by 8, again which is equal to 1 by 2. b1 by b2, you get it as 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is 5 by 1 which is 5. That means a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. 
a pair of linear equation which has no solution that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 we can call those equations as inconsistent pair of linear equations inconsistent pair of linear equations so we can conclude the graph of a pair of linear equations in two variables is represented by two lines. If the lines intersect at a point, then that point gives the unique solution of the two equations. In this case, the pair of equations is consistent. If the second case is, if the lines coincide, then there are infinitely many solutions. Each point on the line being a solution. In this case, the pair of equations is dependent and it is always consistent. And the third case is, if the lines are parallel, then the pair of equations has no solution. In this case, the pair of equations is inconsistent. Let us discuss a question. Here you have question number 3 of exercise 3.2. On comparing ratio 7 by a2, b1 by b2, and c1 by c2, find out whether the following pair of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent. In all the cases, find out a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2. If a1 by a2 not equal b1 by b2, you can say it has unique solution and consistent. Okay, the first question here a1 by a2, it is 3 by 2 b1 by b2 which is 2 by negative 3 that is negative 2 by 3 here a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 so we can say since a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 the pair of equations are consistent similarly do find out a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 in other case if all are equal, then also it is consistent. If a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2, then it has no solution. Therefore, it is inconsistent. Look at one more question. Which of the following pairs of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent? If consistent, obtain the solution graphically. That means first you have to check a1 by a2 b1 by b2, c1 by c2 and if it is consistent you draw the graph of the equation. If the graph of the equations is an intersecting line then that intersecting point is the solution of the equation. Do find yourself. Here are the answers. Do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. We will discuss the other question, question number 5, 6 and 7 in the next class. Till then, bye. Take care.